15 years ago, on Christmas Eve, his family became his victims. What have you done? and airports are officially closed. This one is not going to let up. A group of college friends That sucks. Everyone should be home for Christmas. are about to discover Lauren, we're opening up presents. Why don't you open the present we got you? Their house I got it. Is his home All is calm. All is bright. Who is in my house tonight? Don't you have lots of toys to deliver to good little boys and girls? You really shouldn't provoke somebody like that. And on December 25th... You're definitely getting punked. Is that Santa's reindeer? All he wants for Christmas... Is Megan in her room? Is a new family he can treat... Like his very own. Here's a storyline. An escaped maniac returns to his childhood home on Christmas Eve, which is now a sorority house, and begins to murder the sorority sisters, one by one. Directed by Glenn Morgan. Written by Glenn Morgan and Roy Moore. 1974 screenplay. Released December 25th, 2006. Tagline. This holiday season, the slave ride begins. Here's the cast. Katie Cassidy as Kelly Presley. Michelle Trackenberg as Melissa. Mary Elizabeth Winstead as Heather Fitzgerald. Lacey Chebert as Dana. Christian Cloak as Lee Colvin. Andrea Martin as Barbara Miss Mac McHenry. Crystal Lowe as Lauren Hannon. Oliver Hudson as Kyle Autry. Now, as a lot of people talk about, some movies should not be remade. Fright Night's one of them. But this one, I didn't mind so much. Because one, the story's different. Some good gore, some good acting, and an interesting storyline considering that it's based off the 74 screenplay. Now, there's hatred towards this one, which I can see why, because a lot of classics should not be remade. This in here, it's okay. It's above average. Interesting kills, etc. You have the same storyline, basically. A maniac escapes from a mental hospital. Sounds familiar, don't it? And he goes back to where he lived, and it turns out to be a sorority house now. And killing spree starts. There is a familiar face. Andrea Martin, who played Miss Mac in the original, is also in the remake. So that's enough to make you want to see it. Enough said. This is Gruesome Herzog's Harmony Review. I give this one a 6 out of 10. It's slightly above average. Again, it's not as bad as a lot of other remakes are. This is Gruesome Herzog's Harmony Review, and I'm out of here.